Hello, this is Brian again. Welcome to the next installment of Dawson Saddle the Troop Peak. I am just about at the summit. Like I said, with my back acting acting the way it is. And my left ankle. I'm taking it very slowly. Taking frequent breaks. I'm going to sit under normal circumstances. This is a pretty easy hike. But now that this is the first time I've hiked since my accident, it's definitely slow going for me. But I'm just about at the summit. So this is a pretty short use trail. But it's nice to finally hike a mountain. Even though it's only been three weeks since I fell off a cliff. Maybe it is a little soon for me to really be hiking a lot, but since my injuries weren't severe, in other words, I didn't break a bunch of bones and almost die, I mean, that's the closest I've ever been to, to death, but luckily... The injuries weren't extreme. All right, last little push. Then I will be on True Peak, 9,138 feet. Like I said, you'll see me stopping a lot because I am pretty stiff my left ankle and my back are a bit stiff right now especially my back it's not excruciating but it does slow me down so I need to start working these muscles out again that's why I chose a roughly four mile hike today as opposed to a 6, 10, 15 mile hike Yeah, the summit's right over here. So I'm just about there. So this will be the first peak I've summited in two months. No, not two months. The last peak I summited was in May, but that was a really short hike to peak 7160, which is near Crocker Ridge. most hiking I've actually done in two months since I did Sly Peak and Keller Peak in the San Bernardino National Forest. But here's the summit. I remember recording video when I hiked Troop, Burnham, and Baden-Powell, but I think it's gone. I gotta see if I can find it again. If I find that footage, that's from September 24, 2017. If I find that again, I'll upload it. It'll be it'll be segments of it. Surprise! I'm the only one up here. Did see a fair amount of hikers today. This is it. This is the summit of Troop Peak. My first summit in over a month. Just took it easy coming up here. So, looks like some people move some logs around for a place to sit. I'll see. The 
sun's very intense, but the breeze is cool. I thought I saw in somebody's video or hiking right up about there being a benchmark up here. I've never seen one. This is the fourth time I've been here. This is the only pl this is the only official mention of the peak. The guy who founded Troop University. The peak is technically pronounced troop. Like a troop, a soldier. It's technically pronounced troop. Not throop. Most people probably pronounce it throop. He was the founder of Troop College, which became the or Troop University became California Institute of Technology. So a little piece of trivia. Which you'll be able to read on the mountaintop. I'm gonna try to see if I could just find a survey marker up here. I don't know. Could have sworn I saw one on somebody's hiking blog or hiking video. Could have sworn I saw one. Could be, could be tripping. I don't know. I could have sworn I, there was supposed to be a benchmark up here. I'm just curious to uh, see if I could find it. I mean, if I don't find it, whatever. I mean, I'm still on Troop Peak no matter what. But I do like to find benchmarks, too. It's not a huge obsession of mine, but it is, it is an interest of mine. I think this used to be a taller rock duck. A rock heron. It'd be more of a heron than a duck. It's quite a bit larger. I think it used to be larger years ago. Well, the first time I came up here to True Peak, I ended up uh, passing that use trail I mentioned on the last mentioned on one of the earlier clips. Then, but the first time I missed it. I actually went around on the Pacific Crest Trail to this side of Troop Peak and then ended up uh, going cross country up the ridge. But that was probably about a quarter of the way to, actually, probably about a third of the way to Mount Hawkins, which is that peak right there. Not this one. I believe that's Middle Hawkins from this vantage point. That should be Middle Hawkins right there. But that's Mount Hawkins, 800, I mean 8,850 feet. I believe that's Middle Hawkins right there at 8,505. And then we have along Hawkins Ridge. You see South Mount Hawkins right there. I hiked that in April of last year. That was a pretty neat hike. Hiked up from uh, Crystal Lake. Hiked up to Windy Gap. Was almost going to hit Mount Hawkins, but then didn't. Didn't want to push it too far, but I went to Middle Hawkins. I missed Sadie Hawkins along the way, though, so I missed that. And then uh, went all the way to South Mount Hawkins. So I still got to hit up Sadie Hawkins so I can make make it official. I've done most of the peaks along Hawkins Ridge. Very scenic along there too. That beautiful up here. I can see the High Sierra. I can see the the Southern High Sierra today. Surprise! It's clear clear enough this this time of year. It's usually pretty hazy, but yeah, you can see the Sierras, High Sierras. I can see Elancha Peak today. I think I can see Telescope Peak. And on this side, this is one of those mountain ranges where you get a great view. You can see the ocean. And you can see the Sierra Nevada. That's one thing I love about the San Gabriel Mountains. When you're on the crest, you can see the ocean and the desert and other, and all the way to the Sierra Nevada. So that's another reason why I hold the San Gabriels in very high esteem, amongst lots of others. But this is it. This is Troop Peak. You see out towards Sugarloaf Mountain in the San Bernardinos, 
closer up I can see frost benchmark I can see blue that's Blue Ridge you got frost benchmark Wright Mountain Pine Mountain Dawson's behind the pine now San Antonio and West Baldy you can see all the the huge of course much closer at hand Mount Burnham's behind the tree that's peak 9086 there's of course Baden Powell which is a probably about two and three quarters three miles away from here so Troop Peak ladies and gentlemen see Sunset Peak down there that's along the Glendora Ridge area and earlier on I could see it downtown LA uh, I can't see it right now well yeah actually I can so there's Mount Wilson's Ridge right there to the left of it you can see downtown Los Angeles you won't see it very well here on camera but where Mount Wilson dips down you can see uh, downtown Los Angeles so this is it Fruit Peak 9,138 feet of fun. Take my obligatory selfie, a few photos, and start my way down.